Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. I get to talk to Dr. Polanski. He's going to talk about a subject that I am really concerned about, and it's diabetes. Dr. Polanski, welcome. Thank you very much. You know, Dr. Polanski, you, may, you don't know this, but in my last month, I have met people who have been newly diagnosed with diabetes, and I'm talking about several people, and I thought that was pretty startling. Well, you know, the, the, we're having basically a worldwide epidemic of type 2 diabetes, what we used to call adult onset diabetes. So odds are pretty good you and everyone you're listening either has or knows somebody with diabetes. And boy, at the rate things are going, people with diabetes are going to be the majority. Um, it's spreading fast. So it's a big, big concern. Okay. What is, the, what is this, this worldwide change that's going on? Why, why diabetes? Why is it coming to the forefront so rapidly? Um, well, we're more sedentary. We're, uh, uh, we get a lot less physical activity. We know um, the American uh, junk food industry is growing, so our diets are getting worse, and we're eating more and more food. You know, a lot of that, plus the genetics of type 2 diabetes, all contribute to this worldwide epidemic. Okay. Tell me what you know that you want us to know. Well, I wanted to tell you uh, a couple things. One is about this big study we recently finished. We, we know one of the big concerns, if you really want to be successful with diabetes, to, to stay on top of this disease and live a long and healthy life, you really want to be able to control your blood sugars. And we did this large study involving 800 folks with diabetes to try to understand how come so many people with type 2 diabetes and type 1 diabetes don't check their blood sugars as often as recommended. In fact, some people hardly check at all. And what we found is there were three important factors. One is People perceive that blood sugar monitoring is burdensome. For many people, it's just pointless. They just look at these numbers and it, they don't understand what they are and no one else is paying attention to them and why are they bothering to even do this. And finally, the third factor is that for many people, the blood sugar numbers were just discouraging and demotivating. It felt like nothing they were doing made a difference.